Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on this look right here and fun fact, this is kind of the look I was wearing on my um, Makeup Forever concealer review and you know, some of you were like, oh my god, I love this look and I really, really love this look and I actually filmed this look that day but I deleted the footage <laughs> and I was really bummed about it because I really liked the look. So I kind of did the same thing. I changed very few things, but the base core of the look, it's this. <laughs> um, same lipstick, same highlighter, same lashes, same palette, same everything. So I just really felt bad because I feel bad for me. I felt bad for those of you who like the look because I just, I really liked it and I wanted to share it and I filmed it and it turned out great. But then I deleted everything. <laughs> it's just like my exhausted mom brain. I was cleaning out my camera and deleting a few things to make more room to film my, more things. And then... So I'm not going to ramble anymore. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. And now if you want to see how I created this look, round two, then just keep watching. I'm gonna start by going in with the shade Axis on a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna place that all over my crease. And I'm gonna bring this shade pretty high up, really near my brow bone. And I'm just gonna blend it back and forth. Now I'm gonna take the shade Smooth Criminal and I'm going to warm up my crease. I'm going to concentrate this shadow on my crease, a little bit below from the previous shadow. I'm going to kind of keep my brush straight, point it at my eye and I'm just going to blend it back and forth, back and forth on my crease. So a big tip that I have for those of you that have hooded eyes like me, when you do this, kind of try to keep your eyes open and then you can see where the fold is and then you go above that. You don't wanna go on your lid, you wanna go above the fold. So when you open your eyes, you can still see that shadow. And another tip is when you do this, hold your brush all the way down here don't hold it so close like this because then your lines are going to be so harsh. You're going to put so much pressure on your brush. So go all the way back here and kind of, you know, stroke your eye. It's not about pressure. It's just about the movement and the blending. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush in the shade Top Secret and I'm going to concentrate this on the inner corners and the outer corners. So you want to keep this below the previous shadow. Everything that you do is kind of like um, you want to see the transition. So you go high and then lower, 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 lower all the way until you get to the darker shade. Now with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to take the shade Smooth Criminal once again and I'm going to blend my crease, the green and the brown, blend it together until there's no harsh lines. So now I'm going to take the shade Coin and I'm going to apply this right on the center of my lids. And then I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush and I'm going to even out that application right on the center. And then go back with that pencil brush and just soften up the edges. So this is a total extra step. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I just want to give a little bit more of a oomph. Uh, in my left eye, it's a little bit more sparkly than my right one, if you can notice. Um, I added the MBA Cosmetics Glitter Foil and Liner, um, line effects, I mean, uh, which is just like a, an adhesive, um, a mixing medium. And then I added the Makeup Forever Star Lip Powder in 102, right in the center. And add a little bit more of the brown shadow, just to smooth out my crease. It helps if you go like this with your head, and just see that that's your crease right there so that's where you want to go very gently and smooth everything up. i know it seems like a whole lot of steps but it's just a lot of blending back and forth um, because you don't want to have any harsh lines and i'll probably um take a break right here and i want to go off camera and blend some more just because i can see a few little imperfections right there on my viewfinder uh, but that's just the bottom line just take your time and blend back and forth back and forth just switch your brushes and you know it's just a little time consuming obviously but if you want to have a really pretty um you know effect that really 
um, the gradient effect, that's what you gotta do. And I'm gonna jump straight into foundation. I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer in the shade 21. I actually like using a brush for this. It blends really nicely, um, but mainly because my Beauty Blender is currently 30. <laughs> So now I'm going to pull out my big uh, magnetic palette and I have uh, bronzers and highlighters and blushes here and I normally don't um, pull this out because I feel um, like it's not fair. <laughs> These are about a bunch of like singles or like highlighters from uh, like palettes that I just kind of put it all together in here. So it feels kind of weird to like say hey I used five different blushes because I literally I go on with my brush and like dip my brush onto all of them <laughs> I'm so bad but it's just once I have these palettes in front of me it kind of like I have a hard time keeping track of the names so I rarely use this these on camera because it's just too hard for me to stop and like take them all out and see their number behind them or whatever their name so, but I love them. Uh, these are mainly uh, Makeup Geek bronzers and contour shade singles. So I'm going to, <laughs> to dip my brush onto like these three right here and just warm up my face. And I'm gonna contour my nose while I'm at it. I might as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip on all of these blushes right here, but mainly on this uh, more like coral sort of um, blush. Uh, I want it to be very subtle, but just a little hint of blush. I feel like I always neglect blush, so I'm trying to change that. <laughs> I really dislike doing my lower lash line on camera because there's no cute way of doing this, but uh, of course, I'm gonna do it for you guys. So I'm gonna start by going with the shade Access and I'm gonna put that all over my lower lash line. Make sure you blend the corners together so we kind of tie everything together. And don't be afraid of coming, I'm very lightly with the, you know, the side of my brush, I'm very lightly bringing this down. Don't be afraid to bring the lighter shade that you use a little lower. It may seem like it's too low, but it's really not. So don't be afraid to bring this literally all the way down here. And I'm gonna take the pencil brush and the green shade, Top Secret, and I'm going to very, very lightly smoke out the lower lash line on the inner corner and the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take that same brown shadow, Smooth Criminal, and I'm just gonna blend it all together. I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Torch and I'm gonna put this on my waterline. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara top and bottom uh, and I'm gonna do some lashes. Uh, I'm going to apply this off camera just because it takes you so long and my camera it's about to overheat in a second so I don't want to waste any time and it's just something that I if it's so hard for me to do it on camera because I have to get so close to the mirror and really like focus so I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera I'm gonna be using the Vita Cosmetics um, lashes in Spanglish I will link their uh, website down below it's one of my friends uh, brand I love these lashes they are so big and fluffy and they're not uncomfortable whatsoever um, I really, really encourage you guys to check him out, not because he's just my friend, but she really, I'm so proud of her. She did such an amazing job and the whole brand aesthetic, it's beautiful. So check him out. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to highlight my entire face um, pretty heavily because that's how I like it. I'm going to be using the Mali Beauty What's up? What's up? highlighter trio. So now to finish off with the lips, I'm going to use the VDL Fluid Velvet Lip and this is in the shade Vintage Orange. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what else would you like to see here if you want to see more elaborate looks like this or if you want something more natural or a different 
tag here on YouTube, whatever it may be, let me know in the comments down below. And if you decide to recreate this look, please tag me. I love love seeing that. As always, if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, and if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye!